What's going on guys? This is Cole AK Proximity bringing a brand new video today. Today I am trying to hopefully give you guys a couple tips that I can offer you to maybe help you improve your movement skill in Halo 5. And these are just things that I have applied myself and uh, you know my daily practices. Uh, Clay's gonna get why I'm laughing at that. My daily practices on how I was able to improve my movement. Um, you can actually see what I'm doing right here, right now on screen. This is something I do very often, and it's just going into a custom game by myself and running around and practicing my movement, just going through kind of freestyle. I don't have a specific route I'm taking. I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel is right and kind of just challenging myself to just make some complicated movements. And what this does for me, you know, if, if you guys are, you know, somebody who's been on my channel for a while, if you guys have been here for the last five years or even, you know, less than that, but really within the last two years, you know, about two years ago to now, you'd probably think, and I do see a lot of comments that say, wow, you've improved so much, your movement's gotten so much better, how did you do it? Uh, this is how I did it. Now, it's not going to be what a lot of you guys want to hear, but the truth is practice. I mean, practice is, is how I did it. I, I just practiced an absolute... Ton. I, I played, uh, you know, just I ran around and I practiced jumps a ton, and that is why my movement is very strong now, uh, because I've just done them over and over and over. Uh, but you know, I have some more tips besides that, so don't worry. It's not just going to be that. I might be able to help you guys learn how to spring jump naturally, like I just did there. I might be able to help you guys learn how to make this not the most boring thing you've ever heard of. If you really want to improve your movement, um, and you know. With infinite around the corner, we don't know what the movement's gonna look like, but assuming you want to improve your movement in infinite as well, uh, you can kind of apply what I like to do, maybe uh, to yourself as well. And uh, you know, if you do that, uh, maybe you you can have some killer movement come infinite as well. So basically, uh, first tip: make a custom game type called Jump Practice. Call it whatever you want. Download my game type called Jump Practice. I believe it's in my bookmarks. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, jump Practice is. A game type I made, I uh, see, you know, I made my jump there, I hit the spring jump thrust up to top cap, but if I didn't, what would happen is, if I accidentally missed, which don't get me wrong, it happens all the time, and I'm gonna keep doing this Sniper through this video, I just hit three in a row, I'm gonna keep doing it though, you guys will see me mess up, I promise you, nobody has perfect movement, people mess up movement all the time, and that's really the point, um, <clears throat> so Sniper jump practice, ready. I have unlimited thrust on, just in case I'm practicing a jump that requires a thrust, and then I also have instant respawn if I fall off the map. So if I'm doing a jump that requires me to jump over a gap like that one, and I you know, have the potential to die while I'm practicing it, I'll instantly respawn. Um, I have it just on unlimited lives and unlimited time. So you can practice as long as you want. This time, this clock is counting upwards, not downwards. Uh, so I warm up sometimes for an hour plus doing this. This is just something I vibe doing. I like to put on my favorite album. I like to put on something, you know, just music you want to listen to bump some tunes that you really enjoy. You can practice all sorts of things. <clears throat> if you guys saw that really, really sleek camo grab I used as the intro in one of my videos recently, you know, I practiced that. I practiced that right there, you know? So the reason why I can do that right here, just first try, is because I practice it so much, you know? Um, and that's because I just run around on the rig and I practice my movement. Uh, you know, there's some freaky jumps you can do. Let's see, I can spring off this. If I spring jump thrust, I didn't spring jump thrust the right direction, but I can spring jump thrust stabilize and get this clamper right off that. Um, so, you know, Put on some tunes, practice your spring jumps, practice whatever you want, practice your stabilized jumps, practice your <clears throat> any jump, any jump you can think of. Just do it over and over. I promise you it gets easier. Uh, the repetitions will get there. Um, you just have to keep on practicing. I mean, you, you can't expect yourself to just get it for free. You have to, you know, you have to be willing to put in the time. And that's what I mean. Just put on some good music you like. Call one of your friends. Chill with your friends in Discord. Call your girlfriend. Call your boyfriend. Do whatever you want. Chill. Chat with people. Um, that's what I used to do. I just chill with people and chat. Put on some music. Kind of vibe. Run around. Practice my jumps. And after a while, these jumps become really second nature and very easy for you to do. Uh, you know, it might take a couple weeks. Some of you guys might pick them up faster than others. You really can't say. But as far as the natural spring jump that a lot of people really wonder, like, how do I do it uh, so consistently? Um, and like right here, you can see I'm messing it up a lot, and this is actually one of the few tips I can say. Let me just say this. With natural spring jumps, it's very, very hard. It is a 1 60th of a second frame perfect button combo. You have to release, crouch, and jump on the same frame. And if you do that, you achieve a jump with extra height. That allows you to get up to higher surfaces, just like that. I'm really not good at doing them whenever I'm trying to sit here and do them as I'm explaining them. 
I'm much better at just doing them in the moment. As you guys saw me hit repeat, see I just hit another one. If I just am like moving around and going for it, I seem to get them because my muscle memory works better. Um, so that's why I would encourage you guys if you have the same problem as me, some people want to stand still and just practice them in the same spot over and over and just try to get them repeatedly. I hit two in a row and then, all right, I only got two in a row. One, okay, only one, let's see, one. See, I'm not good at getting these repeatedly in the same spot. Um, some people want to do that to practice it. If that works for you, then I guess great. For me, I think it's not great because one, I think it's really hard to do that. And also in no you know, in almost no scenario in actual ready. game would you want to be doing that. So I like to just practice it, you know, where it's actually applicable. And I would encourage you guys to do that as well. Um, you know, like here, this tower one to tower two jump, I like to practice it with the natural spring jump because it, all right, see, I didn't get it. Uh, I got the, but I get to practice my natural spring jump and the awkward angle to tower one to tower two. So it's really good practice. And that's why I like to practice the spring jumps. So if you're interested in learning how to, you know, spring jump without using the scoreboard method, um, <clears throat> That's what I would recommend doing. There's a bunch of spring jumps on maps like the Rig, Plaza, Regret, uh, a bunch of really good ones. This one, you know, if you're on the box, you can spring jump up to uh, the catwalk here. So you can see me messing up spring jumps a lot. I mean, nobody, nobody gets them 100%. Don't get it wrong. Like, they're really, really hard. Um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm much better at it if I'm just going in, like, in-game, in the moment, just kind of playing. Um, but, uh, you know, when I sit there and think about it, I just mess myself up. So part of my practice that I, I like to do is just try to run around the map seamlessly and not even worry about, like, try not to think, oh, I want to hit a spring jump because that would be cool. I'm just, like, moving around, and I kind of freestyle think, like, oh, I'm going to go up to Tower 2, and I need a spring. See, see, right there, like, if I'm just, like, flowing, I just get it. For me, that's how it works anyways. If I'm just in the middle of the flow, you guys saw me earlier in the same video when I was talking to you guys. You saw me just fucking it up, hitting these repeated ones right up to this catwalk. Um, when I have the flow going, I mean, I, I seem to get them. Uh, but when I like to sit there and think about it too much, it's really easy to mess up. But uh, when, when I'm really in the flow of things, I'm probably like 9 out of 10 with my spring jumps. And I still want to try to get better at it because I still mess them up. And I want to never mess them up. Um, but just in case you guys don't know, you have to release, crouch, and jump on the same frame in order to do it. If you guys didn't know anything about spring jumps yet, uh, sorry. You guys probably would have already heard about them. But you're going to, you're going to jump, hold crouch, and when you're going to release, crouch, and jump on the same frame... And if you do that just like that, you'll get a spring jump. Um, and you'll get higher jumps that will allow you to reach higher surfaces. Um, <clears throat> here's one example where you can do it too. And that's a great, it's a great little spring jump to get up to this convenient surface. You, your feet can just also fall off of something. You could like walk off this box, for example, and then spring jump. I didn't get it, but you can do that. Uh, you don't have to actually jump. And you also don't have to hit a whole jump. You can easily like bump your head under this ledge and then spring jump. Um, and just get right up to uh, old sniper or railgun, see, like that. So, um, you know, that's kind of great uses of the spring jump. It's very hard. It will take a lot of practice. Um, maybe it won't. Maybe you're a god. Maybe you'll just figure it out straight away. I don't know. But, uh, you know, give it some practice. And for me, the best tips I can tell you, keep at it. Keep practicing it. Um, if you're stuck between using scoreboard and the natural way, ditch the scoreboard. Just commit. And then also just keep practicing, man. Just keep giving yourself time. And uh, be patient. Also, uh, yeah, try not to just stand perfectly still and just repeatedly spring jump in the same spot. I feel like it's a terrible way to practice. But if it works for you, I guess it works for you. I'm not going to sit here and say what works. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Cool. That's it. Uh, practice your movement. I've been doing this repeatedly for the last year, but practicing natural spring jumps specifically for like eight months. And I'm pretty damn good at them when I'm not sitting here thinking about them. Um, but, you know, I still could be better. So... Maybe, maybe you're may way more talented than I am. I don't know, but I will say, give yourself some time. Be patient. It takes time, but stick with it. And try to just learn to love the grind, and you'll fall in love with it. So, all right, guys. Take it easy. Much love. Hope this helps.